this should finish you off, though. We should all be good. Magnificent. A true oracle you are. But you were granted the revelation and power of the goddess. It was close. We are back. So, when we last left off, two weeks ago, I completed getting the Oracle Mark, or Marks. So, um, and then I took a week off because I needed to do editing and gameplay capture for Nintendo Power Perspectives, and then I got a cold and wasn't in the condition to stream because my voice was shot. So that's why I missed two weeks. But, that gave me some time to do some deliberations and determine who gets the mark. So, we have three possible options that I'm leaning towards for Oracle. Justina, who is a Dragoon, who has the advantage of she's got a weapon with a, with reach. Like, extra reach with the pole axe because now she can hit over units in front of her that are tanking, which is great because a little squishy. Put in the comparison. Um Atherez got like a defense of 287. She's got a defense. Oh, she's actually a pretty good defense. She actually bought a little techie as well. Okay. But her hit points is 265. Oh, okay. I take that back. Alright, she's actually somewhat tanky. A little squishy on the magical damage end. Oh, she's just defense defensive, but she's pretty tanky. And she can dish it out pretty good, too. Alright, so. Oh, by the way, uh, um, anyway, so, but Sestina is very useful in that class. We then have her sisters, Olivia, who's another cleric. We have three, we have three major healers already. We have Jeremy, who is one of the people who volunteered in the thread. We have Don, um, Donalto, who is a uh, character we recruited through the quest, and we have Katia. So, a little redundant there. And we have Sherry, who is a witch, but with the witch, particular focus on earth and, and also a lot more draconic magic going on. Uh, so, the, let's just change things up a bit there. So, I think Olivia. Welcome to the Shaman class. Uh, that said, she's rather light in equipment at the moment. Can't get the good stuff until she levels up to like level eight. Right, but we need to level her up. And the way normally this is dungeons. So I'm gonna do things a little differently here. Because the way when I do this in dungeons is I want to protect the characters I'm trying to level up because they're very squishy and they're going to get pounded on a lot. So the way I do that... I cheat. 
specifically use action infinite to keep them alive. <clears throat> to let somebody who was less squishy do the dish out the beatings. So since we are way, very close to the end game here, um, what I'm going to do, we're going to go to Palace of the Dead. And we are just kind of show off this dungeon. We'll, and we will actually do the random encounters along the way. Here's what we need, because we need to keep... Also, also want to level up Lindel because there's some guns that he can't, he can't equip yet that I'd like to have him equip. Um, I'd like to level up Bayon a bit more. Put Murden in there. Does some extra damage. Okay, so Hobburn for extra damage. Katia, because level her up for healing. Also, uh, skills. Okay, good. So we have a lot of these skills in here already. Um, she can't use divine magic. Can she learn? Ah, she can learn all the attack magic skills. Interesting. Um. Okay. Jeez. So in that case, actually, I wasted a mark there. Um. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I want to reset the game. So that changes who I'm giving the mark to. <laughs> uh, actually. That means the mark goes to me. So she doesn't get dark magic, but she gets to keep draconic magic. Ah, so that's useful, actually. Um, That's actually really useful, uh, since you since you can only learn draconic magic through warlock, as far as the skill. That's dark, our golem and golem. Learns get to forty two. Water magic, since we don't want else using that yet. Magic. Augment ice and augment water later. Because augment 
darkness isn't as useful because I don't like casting darkness spells. Um, Yeah, she can't cast these yet, but... She will be able to. she's not starting from scratch in terms of spell lineup result we are still however going to do the um branding of the cheats enabled in the paths of the dead in thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the show please like and subscribe I also consider backing my patreon patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider packing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.